Hey guys, RCT back here for that video. Guys, today we have it. It is official. He has now booted completely into Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1. And let's just go ahead and watch this process. As you guys can see, he is only booting in on one screen. He's not booting on both screens, but look at that guys that is absolutely insanity you know what this shows this shows how sad it is for microsoft that they could not get this to work or get this to actually function correctly i mean we got a guy here who literally got turned down by microsoft who did not get accepted into their internship yet he's able to take their device and be able to successfully run windows 11 on their device and that's absolutely insanity now the cool thing about this of course is that if he could go ahead and get it on both screens that would be absolutely amazing obviously the whole purpose of him running windows 11 was at least getting it to run on one screen uh, now, if he's able to get on both screens, that would be absolutely just insanity. Now, here's the big thing about this, because, you know, a lot of people commenting about this and saying like, oh, my God, this is it. Like he needs to go ahead and get this out for everyone. Right. You got to keep in mind that this is not optimized in any way possible for this device. Um, while this is a really cool concept and a really cool idea, and the fact you got it running on this device is absolutely amazing, it is not optimized in any circumstance for this device. So, for example, if he starts opening up like File Explorer and, you know, the Start menu and different applications, honestly speaking wise, the device will probably crash. Now, it does say right there in test mode, uh, Windows 11 Pro Insider Pre preview um actually is that yeah I, I believe that's um yeah so this is just testing it but with that being said though it, it not is not optimized in any way for this so keep that in mind it's very much of a nutshell of what this could be and it's getting like i said this is why it's so sad with microsoft because microsoft you have a great opportunity a great chance to be able to fully run this on your device i mean if you have one guy like this who can go ahead and fully run this imagine if you have someone like you know a whole entire dev team a whole entire dev organization who could do this exact same concept so it's kind of scary because like, you know, what could this man do at this point? Like if he really wants to, when he takes the time and effort, he could go ahead and figure out a way to run this on both panels. He could also run this on the Surface Duo 2. And I think the Duo 2 would be a little bit better just because of the more horsepower and processing unit of it. But overall, man, I'm just excited to see what ends up happening moving forward because this is, this is the future, man. This is definitely it. And I'll definitely say this loading into Windows, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, if you guys watch my channel, you guys already know, you know, when I unboxed the Surface Duo 1 my first time, I said instantly, my first reaction, I said it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous because it's just the feat of this actually happening. And if we go through the whole entire process, and obviously, like I said before, you know, he hasn't fully gotten it worked on both screens and it's not fully optimized and there's a lot of issues. And by the way, these are the benchmarks before and after Windows 11. And you can see with Windows 11, it's up 236% faster under Windows 11 than it is under the original Android software. And that is 143% faster um, on the second Geekbench here. So that's absolutely insane. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, going down here, though, I mean, again, he does have this right here, which, of course, is the uh, his phone being connected. And it is connected as a Windows phone because it does have Windows um, on it. Uh, which is, I still, I still can't believe this guy did it. When I first saw this, I really did not think he was actually going to be able to do it successfully. We've heard for so freaking long that you cannot run Windows 11 on this device. And the fact that, you know, not win no Windows 11, Windows 10, now Windows 11. And the fact he was able to do that, and this is the whole process, guys, and I've been checking my content. Uh, he has, you know, obviously a startup screen getting ready to boot up logo. And this is a whole entire process. A lot of people think, you know, you just, went from a to b right now he went from trial and error non-stop trial and error constantly failing constantly messing up constantly having to you know figure out different display panels and why it wasn't working it says not too unexpected that makes sense easier obviously bam and then he tried to load it into it says usb or u uh, efi mass storage uh connected 
So again, like I said, just so many trials and errors and mess ups that he went through. And again, shout out to him because there's nothing he's really benefiting from all this. And reality wise, I mean, yes, he's getting the publicity of it being really cool and dope and everyone loves it. But other than that, he's not really getting much beneficial, uh, ben benefit from this. I mean, he was the guy who put the you know Windows 11 on an uh, Lumia 950. But other than that, you know, he's not really getting too much, uh, you know, money wise. So shout out to him for going and doing that. But we all started with this, guys. And now we're ending with this bad boy right here. And I cannot wait to see what he does with Surface Duo 2. Because I think the Duo 2 could be really amazing, too. That's another device, though, is the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I, I Again, like I said, you know, so far, he's only been working on Microsoft devices. He only has done this stuff on Microsoft devices. Um, and I'm not even sure if he would be able to. I mean... I say I don't know if he's be able to, but it's the same, we said the same concept about the Surface Duo 1 where we said he couldn't, he wasn't able to put, you know, this on the Duo 1 and he figured out how to do that. So I'm going to be interested to see if he does go ahead and go on to another device because I would love to see a Z Fold 3 with Windows 11. I think that would also be very, very dope. Uh, but moving forward, like I said, I'm just interested to see what he does. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I mean... Are you guys interested in ever getting a Windows 11 type phone? I know I've said many times that I disagree with the whole idea, but it doesn't mean that, you know, it couldn't work out. It just probably is impractical, but I'm going to be interested to see if he does go ahead and optimize any of these applications or optimize his phone for Windows 11. That would be actually dope. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.